SG and it's like you've appeared as a spirit out of the sunrise back here on Aussie Farms. It's been a while. Morning mate, how are you? Yes, oh. it has been a few weeks hasn't it? But it, uh, nice to be back. It is good to be back and uh, we've been just going through what we've got to do and we've got a fair bit of selling to get into today. We have uh, sorghum and chickpeas which are I think we're a decision to make some cash really other than anything else are both ready at their maximum price to sell but also looking over at these field arcs they're looking a bit tatty at the moment looks like they uh, could do with a little spray with some herbicide mm. yeah there's a few weeds coming up in a couple of fields so we will need to get in and take care of that which is good um otherwise we're kind of just in a bit of limbo at the moment really aren't we just in between sort of that seeding and harvesting season that's right, yeah, so it's a bit of a, a maintenance week, shall we call it, ahead of uh, probably jumping into another harvest next week. Yeah, it's probably a very, very good way to look at it. Um, those trailers look a bit messy over there too, I don't know who parked those like that. Yeah, I think they may have a mind of their own. Mm. I definitely remember parking them a lot straighter than that. Mm. Yes, you do, and I, uh, I'll vouch for you there on that one. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Uh, our clothing emporium's doing well. Yes, yeah, it's ticking along very nicely, isn't it? And we've got a bit of sunflowers being produced too. Ah, uh, sunflower oil, sorry. That's right, I'm just having a look in time-saving stock check. Um, we've got 363,000 of uh, clothes sitting there if we sell them at uh, peak price. Look at uh, that. Yeah, wow. our little sun sunflower uh, is taking a little bit longer to, to uh, bear fruit, but uh, there's a lot of sunflowers in there, so that'll uh, tick along nicely for a while now. Hmm, it will. So just looking there actually while we're in time saving stock check, we've got 366,000 litres of chickpeas and 158,000 litres of sorghum. And when we, looked, right. when we looked five minutes ago, Oz grain, ah, sorry, Australian grain exports was the best price for both, but now it's selling Oz grain for the sorghum, so we might have to go somewhere different. That's right, us. it's flipped. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to actually have a look at sorghum in the, the map there, 585 and 574, so it's about $11 difference. Worth, worth driving the other direction for. It is, it is. All right, well, let's get into a little bit of grain hauling first and uh, see where the rest of the day takes us. Sounds like a plan, mate. All right, have fun. You All gonna, right, you're going to take a bit. Yeah, you're going to take the truck that's over there already? I'll go and grab the yellow one. I'll take one the green you one. one. You take no. the, uh, well, yellow one. It's not orange, but it's close. No, it's yellow. It's, it's Aussie, it's gold. <laughs> green and gold. All right. <laughs> Aussie, green and gold. Excellent. Right, chat to you in a bit, mate. Yeah, sounds good. Yes, g'day, folks. Welcome back to Aussie Farms here with the farm some guy and myself. Look at that cotton in there. We were counting up on that too. There's 17 bales, and we're going to have to make a decision on what we do with that, whether we try and sell some of those, whether we keep uh, some for the clothing, or what we do. Um, but yeah, beautiful sunrise this morning, actually, looking really, really resplendent. Right, let's jump up into here. I'm going to take the uh, Kenworth, which... She's looking at it. I think we will run this through the pressure washer when we finish because it is getting a little bit filthy. And that uh, gold is turning a little bit more brown than gold at the moment. We get things cranked up there. They get that in and rolling. And we will uh, just head on out. Turn around before we crash into these trailers. Strewn all over the place. They do have a bit of a mind of their own. They have got there without any assistance from either of us. And uh, we will head them over this way. I'm not sure what FSG is taking first. With a just trying to figure out, it looks like sorghum to me, so we might leave him to do, you know, in fact we might take the other load of sorghum, because that'll just about take it all in two loads and we'll follow him down to the sale point. So we'll let him get filled up and then we'll move in in his place, just have a look at his truck. Yeah, equally dirty, so uh, we will definitely have to run both of those uh, through the pressure washer once we've finished. Alright, there he goes. Now, Oz Grain, I was just checking the map, is north of here. It is up in the main town, up towards where our clothing shop and everything is. So there we go, 71,000 litres of sorghum. So I'm pretty sure these trailers are 80 or 90,000 litres, so we should fit all of that in, in the one load. And uh, that will be us done with sorghum. And then it will be the chickpeas, which are going down to the Aussie Grain importers, exporters, which is down the big silo complex down at the bottom of the map. So... Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much money we end up with and uh, I was going to say to FSG before it's quite timely we've only got three and a half grand in the bank account at the moment so it's quite a timely uh, timely peak in prices for us to get some of this sold but anyhow let's get this run down we'll jump into a little bit of a time lapse while we do it likewise uh, we'll carry on once we get into selling the chickpeas and just see what we end up with
have been a slight incident on the bridge. Uh, I was just about to give you a yell and see if you're okay or not. I came out of the cell point and there is just a line of cars. Yeah, I clipped a car and let's just say it, it I, I basically rolled the entire truck off the bridge but it righted itself so I just need to uh, maneuver the uh, trailer back onto the road. Yeah, that's it's a proper good job of getting stuck. I can see how we're going to fill this episode up now. FSG recovers truck. Yep. Alright, well I'll, uh, I'll try and act as a uh, traffic warden and try and direct some traffic past here and see if we can get these cars moving. Yeah. Crikey, you've been working out in the last few weeks. Looks up trailers in a single bound. I love how you've got push to talk and you can't talk to me when you're busy doing something. It's quite fun. I'll, uh, I'll send you two tickets to the gun show later on. Yeah, right. I look forward to it. <laughs> Uh, right, I think there's only one load left, so I'll leave you, if you can be trusted, to take that last one down. Alright, uh, it's not my fault, it's the traffic. It's the traffic, okay. <laughs> Rocky, this is rush hour in Aussie farms, that's for sure. Really, isn't it? Hmm, right. I'll leave you to finish off and I'll see you back down at the farm soon. Alright. Well, not quite what I had in mind when I was coming out of there, but I saw that line of traffic and thought, this looks interesting. FSG done a proper job of getting stuck. Right, as we said, there is only one load left, I think, but we've gone and made, what, $383,000 so far just off those. So we're going to crack the $400,000 mark with that extra load that is still to go. So that's, uh, that's not a bad effort, is it, for 20 minutes of hauling crops between the yard and uh, sale points? Very impressive. And uh, I love the interior of this truck, too, by the way. How good does it look? It's nice to get into cab and do some work and good mirrors too actually made it very easy to uh, see where we were and where we needed to go anyhow let's not miss our turn in here we'll head on in and we will go and give our truck a wash while we let FSG take that last load down to get sold now before we move on to some spraying in fact we can probably go around and uh, get the sprayers all set up and ready to go too depending how long he takes to get that sorted and assuming he doesn't manage to find his way to climb over a bridge again and there he goes FSG's off, so that should be the last of our chickpeas sold. So I'm guessing there's probably about 60,000 litres I reckon he's going to have, and that will bring in about 40,000. So we're going to end up around what the 400 and I'm going to say 430,000 dollar mark. Let's just see how close I am once he gets back. But uh, there we go. That's the truck looking much better. We'll give the trailer once over as well, and we'll go and get things packed up and go and get some sprays out ready to go. Well, if FSG is back, uh, only about, what was that, $16,000, there can't have actually been that many left at all, but good to see he has pulled up there and giving the truck a wash off. Like I said, they were getting pretty filthy, so we will just admire his work here as he gets this nice and clean. Probably uh, shove all the dents and bumps and scratches that he put on it when he managed to climb the bridge too, but anyhow, it's good to see him working. Good to see him getting in there and cleaning some equipment. Right, let's go and just double check these two sprayers, we'll get them out and uh, get ready for going into taking care of some of these weeds. Well both have a decent amount of diesel in them so we're not going to have to fill them up with a diesel or anything like that. Uh, it is just a case of topping them up with herbicide now. As we know we've got a refill point up at the top of the farm over there where we can go and buy our herbicide and likewise down at the bottom of the map. We've also got the one down there so uh, I think FSG just went past with the truck so he will be going and getting that parked in the shed. We'll just wait here until he's done and uh, figure out the plan of attack. See which uh, weapon he wants to choose and we were going to start. All teed up and ready to go, Ox? Yeah, I just need to get some herbicide into them, but I was just checking diesel and everything like that. That's all good. Um, about 400 grand we made there. That's not a bad effort. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and like you say, had a look before, there's still a lot of money sitting in product and clothes and cotton and all sorts of things. So, looking good. His farm's definitely taken off now. Hmm, hmm. Was there any uh, scratches on your truck once you gave it a wash? You... 
No, surprisingly uh, got away with that. It's got mm. free. Good. Excellent. Right. <laughs> Did you have a preference for a sprayer today? I do not. I will let you choose. All right. Well, uh, I actually feel like taking the tractor today, so I'll let you take the uh, self-propelled one if you want. Yeah, go for it. Are we just going to field each? These are pretty wide, aren't they? I think if we tried to do two in one field, uh, we'd be done in two passes. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think a field each, and uh, then we've got the one with the power poles in it to deal with, and the smaller one down the bottom of the map too, so um, we'll just have to figure out the best way to tackle those, but yeah, field each. Sounds like a good way to start. Splendid. All right, let's get on with it. Mm, indeed. Flying through things. We really are. All right, there we go. Let's jump up here into the 7R. We will head on down and go and get some herbicide in this one so we can make a start. We do have uh, 1800 litres, about a quarter, just a little bit over a quarter of a tank, but let's go and top up because we do know we do race through these. It would be great, as we've said on numerous occasions, to have some uh, sand spray technology in here so we're only spraying the weeds that we need to and not throwing herbicide down across the entire map or the entire field. But. Uh, that's not the case, we're just going to have to make do with what we've got. Anyhow, let's get on over here. We will have to buy some herbicide in the tank. We will do that, make sure there's enough for both of us. I think uh, 15,000 litres should probably cut it. So we'll get in down here in the right spot and we'll go and get that sorted out. All right, just about there. Put the anchor's on, jump out. I'm going to find the trigger just over here with the pump. And let's have a look here. We'll buy 10,000 first, and we might just go and put another 5,000 in there as well. That should be enough to keep us sorted. Jump back up in here now, and we will just get started on filling. I don't know which field FSG wants to take, but we might just start out here in the one we're right next to. Seems to make sense for us. He probably gets down the field a little bit faster anyhow with that than what we will. So uh, let's get this fill and let's get underway. All right, there we go, six and a half thousand litres, so we've put, what, about four and a half thousand litres in. So we'll get lined up about where we need to be. I'm not exactly sure where that needs to be. I'm just trying to guess a little bit here on the width. But we will just wait and see, get this unfolded. Turn some GPS on and get started here on the spraying. In fact, we can move over just a touch, but that's going to be not a bad place to start. Bearing in mind that we're going to have to go around the tree when we get to it anyhow, so won't get too far across we do want to make sure we get all the weeds so let's just try and back up in here just like that that looks good and make a start turn things on get underway okay if it's backing out and heading off the other way but that's us up and going so turn that gps on of course no vca it's uh, something that's been relatively new to fsg and myself not one we've used a great deal uh, have always defaulted here to using gps both have their purposes, both have their uh, good points and bad points. But for this, we are just going to do that. Get our width set, that looks about right. Lines up, and we are up and underway. So we'll race around the headlands, get the field opened up. Before we jump into some up and down rows. So we'll take a little bit of care here as we get towards the trees. Of course there's no collisions on the trees here in Aussie Farms. As you can see, as we did just manage to clip through that one, but we still do want to try and take as much care as we can when we get around them. So let's just carry on, get this field opened up, and get into some up and down rows, and just keep moving, see how long it takes us to get all of the weeds dealt to.
Right, that's us finished in that field already, and you can see FSG up in the distance there, heading up past the trees, he's making good progress as well. Now we've topped up with herbicide, I think we've got one more big field here to do, and then the little one down the bottom, I think I'm probably going to be better suited going and doing the little one, so I might give FSG a yell, and suggest that he stays here and carries on into the next one, and I'll go and do the little one, so we'll see if he is there or not. Arg FSG. Go ahead Ox. I am all done in my field, looks like you're just about finished here as well. Um, I was thinking I might head down to that little field right down the bottom with the wheat and do that if you want to start on the next one. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, next okay. field's a biggie. Um, so yeah, shouldn't take too long though. All right. Get through this pretty quick, aren't we? Yeah, it's very fast. Um, have fun with those power poles. I found, I think last time I sprayed it, go do a line either side of them, like parallel with the power lines. Yeah. And then you don't, have, right. to, don't have to muck around trying to get around them. Almost like no, splitting, like splitting into two fields. All right, I'll see you when I'm back. Cool, mate. See you in a bit. All right, there we go. Plan sorted. Looks like the traffic sorted itself out too. It's not all uh, congested like it was before. But we're going to make our way down the road here. We will uh, dart on down the side road when we get down towards one of the drainage irrigation ditches and head on over to that field. We'll see you down there. All right, here we are. We will go and get things unfolded in this one. Crop's looking good, actually. Oh, nice, vibrant green colour down here. Of course, uh, just prop out, actually, and have a go and have a look at this. This is wheat, and uh, if you have seen my video that we did on how to change the global crop textures, this is the bullet bill texture that I have gone and changed globally, so it does look a little bit different. In fact, if FSG was down here, his would look a little bit different to ours because I don't think he's changed it, but there you go. It's... Uh, looking really good actually it's a very nice texture I don't really think I've seen it when it's at this growth stage too much right let's jump on back up in here and we will go through and get things turned on and underway it's not too many weeds but we will uh, make our way through here not sure if we've got enough space to fit between these trees I know there's no collisions but ah oh, looks like we're just gonna be able to squeeze in this one on the left might be a little bit of a worry ah just got the tip of it all right, well there we go, that's cleared that little part. We've got a couple of trees in the middle to negotiate, but that is us back up and underway. So it's not going to take us very long to get through this field at all. Now, I'm assuming we don't have any weeds in the fields next to us. So did we plough those? I can't actually recall now. can't recall. Or was it because they were direct seeded? Not sure. Strange that they've got no weeds, but this one does, because I'm pretty sure we treated them all exactly the same. Anyhow, is what it is. Right, let's carry on in here, get this one done as well. fit through the gap on the other way coming from the other direction but I think we should there we go be able to get that turned in there and use a little bit of width to get that done there we go that is us all finished now I'm just actually looking across the way there looks like we've got a few um few weeds to deal with down in that one so we're just going to go over and have a look see if we need to run across that or not let's just see there in fact you know what's happened here I don't know if I called him out at the time, but FSG actually managed to plant all of this field, or all of these fields, with canola instead of the wheat. So when he came to uh, finish the fields, he actually easy devved the wheat in here, so we had the correct crop. But as you can see, we have ended up with a few little patches of canola. And that probably explains now to me why we have no weeds in here, because when that was done... He's obviously set it so that we didn't have weeds, but that's explaining these little patches here. Can't hide from your mistakes. They will follow you and haunt you forever. But anyhow, we will just run along here very, very quickly. It's not going to take us too long. Then we'll head back down to the yard. See if FSG is still going in the other field. We might be able to give him a hand for a little bit to get that one finished off. And from there, we'll just have to see what the plan is. We've got, really... Not a great deal of work to do once we've finished in here. Uh, it's just really waiting for these crops to grow and be ready to harvest. So let's just wait and see. We'll uh, get things folded up and we'll head on back down to the yard. Now it's just about to head back to the yard. And uh, 
record we have this field here which has got a crop in it as well wheat again and uh, there's weeds in there so we will just pop in and go and deal with that one in fact we'll just start uh, when we get in there we'll just double check and see where FSG is at we should be able to see from the PDA which weeds have been dealt to and which haven't been so uh, I'll just get into the gate here get things unfolded and go and have a quick look in fact we better check the fields we have already done to make sure we've done a decent job of them but uh, good, please don't remember that I hate to have got back all the way to the yard only to have to turn back and come and do this one but there we go right get that unfolded and let's just have a very quick look at where things are at so there you go you can see the field all done down the bottom we've got this one here to go these two fields up here are all finished and uh, there we go FSG's taken our suggestion on board and he is running across that field and getting those done in fact his uh, self repelled is probably easier to manage turning around obstacles than our toe behind one so uh, he's going to make a pretty good fist of that field I reckon right got that lined up pretty well let's carry on get this one finished and uh, then we can get back over to the yard shouldn't take too long at all that's us done here for another field we actually got quite a bit of wool there quite surprised to actually see that which is good not uh not disappointed just surprised that it is there i suppose we've skipped a few months since we last cleared them out but let us get on back over to the farm i think uh, i just had a quick look on the map fsg's not too far away from being finished over there as well so it's actually going to work out pretty well timing wise to have all of this spraying done arxity fsg Go ahead, mate. Oh, I was just going to say, how you doing? I've just got back, but uh, so you've only got a single pass or so left. I literally have a little bit in the corner here, and I'm done, yeah. Nice. you got enough herbicide to get it done. 20% uh, left, so yeah, working Easy. out perfectly. Nice one. All right, well, uh, I might go and get this cleaned up and put away and uh, see when you get back over here. All right, buddy. Sounds good. Well, there we go. That was a very good timing. SG's finished at about the same time we are, so let's just uh, pull up here next to the pressure washer, give this a quick wash down and put it back over in the shed. By then FSG will no doubt be back and we'll be able to figure out what else we've got to do today or whether we've done all we need to and we just need to start thinking about harvest prep for next week. There we go, not too much dirt on the tractor. Looking good. I do like these 7Rs, they're a very nice, nice tractor, very uh, short wheelbase nice and compact but pack a decent punch too and uh, these gold acre sprayers actually really impressed for them they're very nice models lovely animations uh, I think the only thing I'd love to see them have would be some sea and spray technology just so you didn't use up quite as much herbicide as you're going through your fields but we didn't actually do too badly then quite impressed right that looks pretty good everything nice and clean so that put back down just there I'm going to get this backed into the shed I'm sure it'll turn before he gets to us, yes. <laughs> I think quite like having a spray bearing down on you. There we go, FSG's done as well, and uh, litmus test, look at that. Straight to the pressure washer. Good man. Right, we'll let him get that done, let him get that put away, and uh, then we'll have a chat to him about where we're heading to, what the plans are. 
Nice job, mate. Yeah, all finished. I was uh, on my way back from doing the little field down the bottom and realised we had the one by the sheep to do too, so that done. Oh, right, you did both mm. of those. Nice Yeah. One. Yeah, would have been back a long time ago if it wasn't for that, but there we go. All finished. Timed it perfectly, actually. Both finished at the same time. Yeah, it was very good, and uh, I must say I was impressed to see you pull up there next to the pressure washer too. Of, of course. I'm getting better. Slowly. Slowly but surely. <laughs> right. Well, I think that's about all we have to do now. Just uh, it's a bit of a waiting game until harvest time. It is, isn't it? I think we've been maybe a little bit too efficient with our time and uh, yeah, running out of things to do. Hmm. Now oh, it's a good problem to have, isn't it? It is. Right. Well. You'll play some farm sim now. Yeah. Why not? Let's go sit in the shed. <laughs> play some farm sim. Maybe some logging. Some logging league. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we, could, we could have a team. <laughs> we should. All right. Anyway. Thanks, nice to be back, mate. Yeah, no, it's been good. Good to have a chat and catch up and uh, get some work done at the same time. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right, mm. uh, have a good week. I'm sure Likewise. we'll in the week, but uh, yeah, thanks for that. Good fun, as yes. always. and harvest next week. Looking forward to that. Yeah, no, that'll be good fun. Mm, always is. All right, mate, take care and we'll uh, see you again soon. Yeah, no worries, mate. See you soon. All right, bye. bye. Well, there we go. Another episode done here on Aussie Farms. Lots of crops sold, lots of money made, and all of the weeds are out of our fields now. So we are just waiting for the crops to all mature and to get in there with the combines. Get the uh, two big case combines out there and get them running through some canola and some wheat. So looking forward to that. Now we do have a couple of fields to plant, the ones up by town, but we were thinking we might actually save those until the cotton's ready or it's cotton planting time, get some more cotton put in there. Seeing we've got the uh, harvesters and everything like that, could be a good thing to do. But like I said, looking forward to getting the 7250s out and into some crops next week. So as always, from the farm some guy and myself, hope you've enjoyed that episode. Thank you all very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.